Bienvenue à 13.2, Subjunctive Usage, Will, Emotion, Desire, and also we'll throw in a little bit about opinions. So this, in this lesson we're just elaborating more on what you use the subjunctive for. And uh, so you have to watch out for it and you'll have to use it when you see it. Um, so, uh, will and desire, basically just saying you want something, um, you prefer something, you uh, like something to be a certain way. Really not that difficult. The one exception is hope. So if you hope for something, you don't use the subjunctive. I, I don't know. Um, just kind of have it in your mind. You don't say, I hope that, and then add the subjunctive. That's the indicative. Just think back to French one. But basically everything else that you're talking about wanting, um, you're going to want the subjunctive. Now, what do I mean by, if you say you want something, you need the subjunctive, because you've been using the verb I want without the subjunctive for quite some time. So, you need a couple different things. You need two clauses, you need and two subjects, two different subjects. So, um, we'll say je veux. So we have one subject, je, okay? Que, remember, we have our que which is often with our uh, subjunctive, go. Tu, uh, let's see, fast. Okay. La vaisselle. Okay. So we have two different subjects, je and tu. We have two different clauses, je veux, I want, and then we have, uh, you do, so we have we have the subject verb here, we have another subject verb here. Um, so you're not saying, I want to do the dishes, in which case, je veux faire, okay? Because we only have one subject, we only have one clause there. Um, so that's what we did in French 1. Of course we don't need the subjunctive, but we're saying, we're basically saying there's a separate subject that we are pushing or desire onto, um, and that's when we need the subjunctive there. So I wish that you do the dishes, I want you to do the dishes, I would like for you to do the dishes, um, all mean that this needs our subjunctive here, because we have to go, separate subject, and subjunctive. Okay, so next we have emotion, and this one's really pretty simple, except now we just have emotion, so we're going to say, um, Let's put an emotion. Je suis content or contente que. So we talked about, um, we have an emotion here. I am happy, right? I am sad. I am disappointed. We have an emotion. And now we're having a separate person involved, a separate, or just a separate subject. Okay, just not I again. Je suis contente que. We'll use the same thing. Que tu fasses la vaisselle. Okay? So we have the emotion. We have que, separate subject. We use the subjunctive. And the tricky thing about this with translating is that you can say, you can translate this two ways. You can say, I'm happy that you are doing the dishes. Or you can say, I'm happy that you will do the dishes. Um, and that is because of our uh, subjunctive is talking about a hypothesis, like a, a pen potentiality, and so it can mean that too. I want to get too um, hung up on that because you might you'll you'll kind of uh, glean that from the context. If you want to just keep translating it in the present for now, that's fine. It's French too. This is really, we're laying the base of the subjunctive, so that French 3, French 4, French 5, um, college level French, that's when you're going to go deeper in this. But right now, just the foundation, just want to let you know that it's out there. So I'm happy that you're doing the dishes, okay? Um, so emotion, different subject, and um, uh, we have our, our second uh, clause there. Um, and yeah, so happy, sad, disappointed, all that stuff. So that brings us to opinion. And opinion, um, 
we can have impersonal expressions, okay, um, to state an opinion. So I am stating an opinion, but I'm not saying I am starting off with, like the whole thing is basically an opinion. So I'm saying maybe it is il est bon de, okay? It is good to, I'm saying it's good to do this. So this is, but this is my opinion. Now, um, I have to have a separate subject. If I just say il est bon, um, and this is what I'm trying to say here, I can't just say il est bon d'étudier. Okay, that's a way to get out of the subjunctive, which is a completely uh, good way to get out of the subjunctive. Um, il est bon it's good to study. But um, if I'm saying it's good for you to study, um, then I have, again, our rule, I have that new subject. I have the separate subject that I'm talking about. So, il est bon, and we're not going to use the de. Okay, so you're used to the de. We, we talked about that in uh, chapter 11, I think. It was the il est bon de, it's good to study, it's uh, good to sleep, it's recommended to, and that's where we would have the de plus the infinitive, okay? But for here, remember, we, like, we all we just do is put in, instead of the, we put in the que. Il est bon que. And then we add our separate subject. So, il est bon que. Uh, tu, il est bon que. Qu'il, il est bon que. Okay? So, bon que. Tu, um, well, let's just stick with our dishes here. Fast. Okay, so it's my opinion. It's good for you. It's good for you to do the dishes. Okay, it teaches character. Il est bon que tu fasses la vaisselle. Um, so we have que versus the de, and we have new subject here. Here we just we avoided that subject. Um, so and that's just the difference between it's good to maybe il est bon de faire la vaisselle. It's good to do the dishes rather than it's good for you to do the dishes. Again, it's my opinion I'm putting on you, um, even though I didn't put je in the beginning, okay? And just, again, watch out for, um, if you just have the one subject here, I mean, here it's just, it's good to study. Um, we didn't introduce a, se a separate subject. Um, don't use the subjunctive, okay? Just think about it, just go back and don't overcomplicate things. Um, you don't need a subjunctive. Subjunctive has those two subjects. We're putting one desire onto somebody else, my emotions, onto somebody else's actions. Um, okay? So, not that difficult, right? Pas si difficile. Okay? Au revoir.